Okay, so the first thing just to put the ASIO on top of this pipe to make it easier for us to assemble the rest of the antenna. Um, it doesn't have to be tightened up at this stage. Next thing is to attach the back bracket using uh, this plate. So we put the plate inside the back bracket and put it onto the face of the ASEL unit and align the holes. We'll put the first one in the top and loosely secure it with a nut. five bolts in total. I uh, don't need to tighten these up right now. Okay, we'll tighten everything up at the end. And when all five bolts are in, but still loose, the back bracket should rotate about the skew axis. We'll leave it like that for the moment until we're ready to set it. Next we'll assemble the reflector to the back bracket. So we'll put the first bolt in and secure it with a nut. Are done. We've left the hardware loose at the moment, we'll tighten the hardware up at the end. Feed support arm, it doesn't matter which way up, but the, the two holes at this end, which are the widest apart, they are, have to interface with the back bracket. Alright, so a bolt, bolt goes through the top of the uh, back bracket, through the feed arm, and up and washers assembled onto the other side. Okay, so transceiver support bracket fixed to the feed arm with two bolts on the top. This is the KA transceiver. Gets attached to the bracket with four screws in this fashion. Okay, so that's that's everything. All the hardware still has to be tightened up, um, but that's essentially the antenna assembly complete. To set the antenna approximately in azimuth. Using a compass, we can turn it to the approximate direction depending on which satellite it's going to look at. Once we've done that, we can tighten up these three bolts. Now we can set the approximate um, elevation angle by loosening of these two nuts and adjusting the elevation angle to the what's required approximately by moving the antenna and elevation on this rod. The fine azimuth adjustment is achieved by loosening the nuts on the underside of the azel in three places okay. and the 
means of finance myth adjustment is done with this screw here, turning it clockwise or anti-clockwise according to the, the adjustment required. And it's at this stage where you would fine point the antenna to the satellite using a signal, signal meter or some other means of identifying well, when the antenna is optimally pointed at the satellite. After that's done, it's a question of tightening up these nuts again in elevation. And the three nuts on the underside. And that's the antenna finished.